Also happening today, the Mid-Michigan Honor Flight is taking 80 veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the monuments created in their honor. Additionally, they'll get a chance to honor their brothers and sisters in arms. 13 on your side, Joshua Vinson joins us live from the Gerald R. Ford International Airport with more on today's trip. Josh? Hey, good morning, Emily and Meredith. Look, it's quiet now here in baggage claim number four, but that is surely going to change in about the next 30 to 40 minutes. You can see we already got the balloons up as the veterans are expected to arrive here by 7 a.m. This Mid-Michigan Honor Flight is the first flight since October of 2019. They haven't been able to make the trip due to the pandemic. Officials say what makes this trip so special is that there will be 13 World War II veterans on board. The rest are Korea and Vietnam veterans. The president President of the Mid-Michigan Honor Flight telling me this morning people can show their support to our veterans by getting more involved with this program. If you want to support Honor Flight, then get involved, um, donate to Honor Flight or get involved in a fundraiser. Um, every veteran that flies that's over 70 has to have a guardian fly with them. And we have pri uh, uh, private citizens that put in guardian applications because there are some of our veterans that don't have family members that are able to fly with them. Green telling me there's a 95 year old World War II veteran that's on this flight who has outlived his family. He's now paired with a guardian and will get a chance to make this special trip to the nation's capital. Again, a small gesture that just means so much. They're asking the public to come out here by 7 a.m. And then again later on this evening to welcome them back around 8 p.m. So head over to our website 13 on your I have all of that information over there. As for now, we're live here at Ford International. Joshua Vincent 13 on your side.